Hi YouTube, today I'm going to be filming a night routine, but the one special ingredient I'm using is the Ordinary's Buffet Plus Copper Peptides 1% in my night routine. And if you're interested, keep watching. First things, I have my hair tied up. By the way, the sweater is from Abercrombie & Finch and it's an extra small, but it's so, it's super baggy. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess they just make sizes that are just bigger. Anyway, so I'm gonna get started and uh, I have makeup on today, I have blush and lipstick. I'm gonna go ahead with Neostrata's oil-free free cleanser with 4% glycolic acid. So I'm gonna take quite a bit just because I have makeup on today, but um, it's not a lot of makeup, so I don't need to be very aggressive. So my face is totally damp right now and I'm going to go in with the Ordinary Serum. So I was really interested in this product because it has copper peptides at a very affordable price and I did buy this during the sale so it was like 20 to $23 as opposed to 30 So it looks blue and I've only just started using this product so I have most of it. So in here, the way I like using this is on my damp skin right after cleansing. Just make sure that I avoid the eye area just in case. I mean, I've definitely gone in the sensitive areas and it hasn't irritated my skin it's just I don't want to push it so that was on my damn skin and it feels very jelly-like and it's not heavy. It doesn't feel sticky or greasy and it slips on really well. Um, I'm honestly very pleased with this. I find that it helps with the uh, redness that comes with using glycolic-based products. So I've honestly really, really enjoyed the copper peptides buffet. I'm gonna take the eye cream or the cream that I use just for my eyes. Um, this is by Neostrata and it's the 10%, 12% PHA. It is so gentle. Oh, it works really well. Has not irritated the delicate parts of my eye skin. All right, so I can feel my skin on my face almost drying so today's routine is pretty simple because I've already used an exfoliator in my wash so that was a glycolic acid and then I went in with the copper peptides so as my final step I'm going to go in with the Ordinary's natural moisturizing factors Touching my hands. So this is while my face is still damp so that I'm not letting it dry completely just because I want to trap the moisture on my face. 
yeah, it's gonna look weird until it kind of dries out, but hopefully you'll see what it looks like once it's all good. Hi YouTube, so the moisturizer has completely dried on my face and as you can see, it has not caused any irritation or particular dryness. Um, I put my hair back into a ponytail and in the meantime, my skin completely um, dried. The moisturizer soaked up all the moisture on my face. So I'm ready to go to bed. See ya.